back at the Pickens County Flea Market. How much is the soda water? Uh, $3. I don't even know what it's worth. Probably worth $100. I don't know. I'll buy it for $3. It might not be worth it cents. It might not be, but I'm gonna, I'll take a chance on it for 3 <laughs> Thanks, sir. Thank you. How you doing, ma'am? I'm good. Good. How much is the camera? Bought it. The land's probably worth that though. Yep, probably is. All right, you're gonna take it, eh? All right, that's a nice piece. This is a foot ad. I haven't cleaned it up to see uh, what if it's got a name on it or not. It's probably worth 15 How or 20. How much are you selling this for? Give me uh, $3. $3? I'll yeah. take it. Give me that $3. I'll give you back. <laughs> you got it, yes sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, got to go. I'm, helping out. I'm doing this to help a woman, so y'all know. She's getting kicked out of her house. And mm. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Trying to raise her some money. She's got to move. Her husband passed away. Yeah. How much is this? It's worth ten dollars to you. Yeah. Can I leave it here and come back by and get it? Yeah. Both of these pieces. Yeah. I'll I'll come back by and tell you that I All bought right. them. Ten bucks. Yes, sir. Thank you. I appreciate that. How much is the tag? Which one? The car tag. Five dollars. This car tag's got this bracket around it. It's a metal bracket. That bracket's probably worth 15 or 20, maybe 25. I'll ask 25 or 30 for the set. This is a 1967 military lantern. I've sold quite a few of these over the years. This one's in good condition, so I bought it. How much is this one? Fifteen dollars. What about this? I'm gonna get fifteen for it for Fifteen and fifteen, thirty. I'll yeah. take them. All right. I like this thing. Here. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's awesome. I think it's nice. I'll be filled the back of your truck back up. I don't have my key. My truck's parked right down there. My wife left off with the key, so I can't take it to her. I just need to keep looking. Like a bottle opener or some type. Yeah. Yeah. How much is it? A couple of dollars. I'll get it for two. Pretty cool. No, no, oh, I've got, got some, some paper, paper over here. But you really do go. Uh, give me a dollar. Oh, here, here's some wrapping. Thank you. Thanks. Thank 
guy had a sign that said, I buy fishing reels. We said yeah, we he buys some. all fishing reels. Who does his thing? We have a ton. But With you? No. So, oh. there, I just got to get everything. Old laws. Really, what a Some of these vices, they, uh, if they got the right name on them, they bring pretty good money, but I didn't even have to price on this. I don't like to ship them. Guy, he never has prices on his signs, and I think most of them are old. There's a few reproductions I noticed in there, but I, I didn't ask him the prices. They always pretty high. That's a nice old True Age sign right here. That's a real sign. Cooper Tire signs real. He's always got a, some, a lot of nice stuff. Good. How you doing? How much is the lid? How much? Two fifty. I can't hear. Two fifty. Two fifty. That's two hundred and fifty dollars. Do you know what it goes on? Oh, I see it there. I know that's an early, rare lid, but two hundred and fifty dollars. Take the right person to buy that. They'll have to need it for their pot. Pretty cool stuff. Thank you. I could have bought a lot more here at this flea market. There was a lot of people set up this time, but I really don't need the merchandise. And I was just buying, which I didn't even ask the prices on a lot of this stuff. A lot of this stuff could have been cheap. I was just going to look. I enjoy shopping at this flea market. They, when it's real busy, they got a lot of antiques here.
That right there is a cigarette company, Porcelain Back Chair. They bring pretty good money. But this guy that's got all this stuff right here, he's always real high. Pristine, pristine. Yeah. Um, probably in the six, six fifty. And then if this guy wanted twenty dollars for this book, but I didn't even look it up. This person was down here by themselves. They had three tables or four tables of very nice stuff. Everything on their tables was very nice. But there was nobody down there shopping with them. I figured that everybody at the flea market knew it was all high and they couldn't buy it at a reasonable price of but that might not be true. But it was all really, really nice stuff. And there was nobody down there. And there was thousands of people here at this flea market. But nobody was over there asking on prices or anything. So I figured they must come every week and everything's real high. But really, really nice stuff. That's a nice crock right here. I love that tobacco spit glaze. Beautiful. Everything they had was nice. And I didn't ask no prices either. I guess I should have asked a price on a couple of items just where I would know. How much are your signs? These right here, different prices, $120, $90. Okay. 
At 90 to 120. Get the one now. He's right here, 120. This porcelain. This is a, uh, thought of a 1955 or something like that. And here, this is a, this one here is a, somewhere in that area too. How much is that? 120. 120. I got another one I got at home, a porcelain I got at home. That's How much is the Pepsi cooler? 200. 200 is pretty. That's a boy well, airplane Pepsi yeah. cooler. I know it's high, but I mean, they might say the high. They're rare. That's a double dot. Yeah, it's rare. It's a rare piece. That's a, you know, what is that, 40 and up? It's only when they made them, I think, 10 years or something like that. But it, no, no, I don't know about the double dot. Yeah. That's the first one that come out of you know? How much are the red lanterns? They come with the carry case there. Oh. I'll do 175 on it. Is that how to, did somebody build that for them? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. <clears throat> trying to talk me into buying them. Yeah. I should have asked the price of this six pack holder. It was in good condition. I was checking them bottles to see if any of them were dated. And they had some nice stuff on this table. I didn't ask prices a whole lot because I weren't really interested in buying much. This is just a fun flea market.
I won't. Oh, you won't be in it. I'm just taking this pretty pottery here. This your car, sir? Yes, sir. How are you today? Okay. What you getting on this? That one there. This stuff here on this table was cheap. I think that was five dollars, twenty dollars for that vice. It had a name on it. I didn't look it up. These hammers right here, that's a body hammer right here for $2. Uh, auto body. I've sold a lot of those auto body hammers, different ones over the years. Some of them bring good money. It's more what names on them. But pass. But everything on, on this table, that's $5 for that pool. Everything on this table was cheap. How much are they? Uh, Two dollars a piece. Two dollars a piece. Check it later. Yeah, these here, I was checking them to see if there's any dated bottle there. There was three 1923 Christmas Cokes, one Greenwood, and two Anderson. They worth between 15 and 20 dollars a piece, I, I guess. That one, that They're in good condition. And I want that one. I guess the bottle brush I had wouldn't go all the way to the bottom. Yeah, it'll be all right. $6? Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Tags are just a dollar a piece. Dollar a piece? Yep. Dude, I lost something to steal all those. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's a bargain if you uh if I knew how long it took you to steal them. Dollar a piece. You'll pick me out about ten or so. How y'all doing this morning? You know, I should have bought every one of them tags. Probably a hundred there right around it. If I just sold them for two dollars a piece, I'd made a hundred dollars profit. I could have got a lot more than that. There's a lot in there from the sixties and seventies. I think I only went up getting six.
Number nine. Number nine. Seventeen quarts. The hammer grid wall is pretty cool yep. too. That's a good piece for sure. It hinges up like that too. Yeah. Pretty cool. This cool stuff. This is really rare here too. That's a flop griddle. Yeah, I've never seen one of them. You take your pancakes and then you can flip them over here. How about that? And then by the time these are done, you can have these cooking and flip them on over and just make them all day long. It's called a flip griddle? Flop, yeah. Flop griddle. Well, who makes it? It's made by Wagner. You can tell by the handles, but it's not marked. Uh, pretty cool stuff. Sure is. That's all I have for you for now. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I'll catch you in the next video.